Good morning, Prop Nation. It is another Tabac and Tech Tip Sunday, powered by Monster Energy Rehab. Um, I don't have a tech tip uh, this week. It's New Year's Day. Um, I have a New Year's resolution that I challenge each and every one of you to have or do. But um, in the meantime, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, it's clickbait. Now you got to watch the rest of my video of me talking. Um, New Year's resolution. So uh, we're in a group chat with other technicians, and we, and we talk about what's going on at our shops, um, um, issues we're having uh, with vehicles. We can ask each other uh, uh, questions. Um, it, it's a great little uh, group chat we got going. Uh, someone asked yesterday, um, hey, guys, what are your New Year's resolutions for 2023? And did you have any for 2022 that that you that you accomplished? Um, several of the guys uh, had responded, and uh, I responded with, uh, "I didn't have a lot of 2022 New Year's resolutions." Now this is this is for really work. Like like what are, what are your goals? We always have goals each year. Uh, mine is always trying to get a little bit better at electrical. I'm not an electrical guy. I'm a drivability uh, type of guy. Um, but uh, I, I'd said, well. I had a goal of um, uh, uh, getting on a treadmill and walking. That was a, that was a goal that that I set. And then for for months, uh, it was the the bicycle, getting around. I remember the day that I got you know because we just kept going back and forth on on the uh, on the, the electric bike, whatever you at the, at the physical therapist. And I remember the day that I was at the top. And I went all the way around, and it was such an amazing day. Um, my next goal for uh, uh, which I was hoping this year: stairs, climbing stairs, uh, and still can't still can't do the stairs. So that's going to be my goal in uh, uh, 2023. But um, but I did have some uh, um, some little mini goals: um, uh, get more, teach more to the younger technicians. Uh, luckily, I've been back as like a service manager, service advisor role, and I've really been able to impart, and then at a different store, which has been great, um, imparting some of the knowledge that, that I have learned over the years to the younger technicians that may not be getting that, that knowledge, so that's been great. Teaching all of you, not teaching, um, uh, I guess teaching, uh, imparting my words of wisdom, knowledge upon you. We have gotten hundreds and hundreds of comments. Um, I've gotten hundreds of personal messages thanking me for, for doing these videos each and every week. And, uh, and I, I honestly, I don't know where these started. I just, I think I had an issue. I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, and I'm just like, let me just make a video. And I started doing these videos on Sunday mornings, because at my store, Sunday's dead slow. So I'm like, ah, oh, just make a video at, a, at work and post it. And they've been wildly popular. Um, so thank you, everybody, for, for watching these e each and every week and, and coming up with uh, um, new ideas for me. Uh, a lot of my ideas just come from me just working, you know, things that I come across during the week. And I always make mental notes. Oh, this would be a good, you know, a good uh, tech tip. So... Yeah, other than that, um, uh, my goals 2023 is uh, still rehabbing my knee, uh, getting healthy, um, them stairs, so, and I still can't kneel down, so I can't, you know, like on one knee, it's a part of a technician's job, you kneel down on one knee and you you rack the vehicle, you set the lift is what they call it, um, I still can't do that, so uh, that, that's my big, big goal in, uh, in 2023, um, and to continue, I'd love to be able to help... Uh, um, other technicians, up and uh, up and coming uh, technicians, help uh, getting shops. You know, my, I would love to be able to get shops running more efficiently and more smoothly. The the shop that I'm at now, uh, my store is still being remodeled. Hopefully, be open in the next week or two. Um, I've really gotten that shop running just a little bit smoother. Um, it's kind of what I do when I when I was service manager at Walmart. Um, years and years ago, they, they, that's one thing they had me do is, uh, they, they were going around to other shops and figuring out where the, where like the broken chain was and, and helping them get more efficient. Um, so it's kind of, kind of what I do. So it's my, my specialty, but yeah, um, that leads me to new year's resolutions for you. Everybody watching this today, I challenge you to just read your owner's manual. That's it. 
Um, and this comes from last week. Had a customer in, had to have a, a car towed in. He didn't have a uh, air pump to, to, to pump it up. AAA came, uh, he didn't have a spare tire. Uh, so they towed his car into the shop. And, uh, and I go, hey, you know you have an air pump. Like it's in like in the corner. Um, and I was like, no, no, we looked. So I took him out to the car and I showed him. It was like this little hidden compartment. Um, and he's like, oh my God. He goes, I, I can't believe I didn't know that. And I go, did you ever read your owner's manual? And they're like, no. Um, and it just reminded me uh, just now, uh, this is going back over a year ago. Um, I, I can't remember what car it is now. They come with a vacuum, like a central vac system and a hose. And I remember seeing it and I remember telling the customer, I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to see one of these, see how that central vac system works. And I go, what? And I go, yeah, you got like a vacuum. Like it, it's like built in and you just have a hose that you plug in and you can vacuum out the car. And they're like, I've had this for like six months. I didn't know that. And then we went and looked and I found it. And he, and he was like, oh my God, you know, yeah, he had just had a hose he pulled out. He could vacuum out his whole car. Um, so yeah, there are things that you learn just by reading your owner's manual. And it could be something as simple as the, the oil viscosity. Um, take some, uh, um, sticky notes and mark, and mark certain pages in there. Cause I can tell you, you know, I don't know how many times people call to make an appointment for an oil change. And I'm like, hey, you know, your manufacturer is recommending 5W20, a synthetic blend or full synthetic. Um, full synthetic is a much better oil. It's definitely what I would recommend. It's what I personally use in my vehicles. Is that what you use? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know what I use. You know, so it's like, well, you know, maybe if you mark it in your owner's manual, like, you know, I always use synthetic blend or I always use this or I always use in some cars are oh. 030 or 020, 520. You got the 017 now, so you have a couple different choices depending on your climate. So just mark that and maybe you'll find out you have something cool. Do you ever, you ever wanted, you know, like, you know, find out that, uh, you know, or, or like hidden charging ports? I have them on mine. Um, I found out like a month later if I take out the center console, the little open it up and take out the little tray. All the way down on the bottom, I have two USB A's, and that took me like a month because I read my owner's manual. Um, so you might find you have some cool things on your vehicle that you never knew about. Um, now, uh, certain cars, my car didn't come with an owner's manual. Um, I had to um, uh, download it online. Um, Jessica, she has one. So if you go to your car and you don't have an owner's manual because it's new and they, sometimes they don't come with them, or if you um, um, bought a used vehicle and you don't have it. If you go on the manufacturer's website, every manufacturer has an owner's manual for your car. And I believe that they are all free. So you don't have to go online and buy one, go to the manufacturer or just Google, you know, whatever vehicle you have uh, owner's manual, and you should be able to find one for free. Oh, went out. Um, but yeah, that's my goal for everybody. And so that, that's a goal that should be easily accomplished within the next few days or a week. Everybody should have that uh, done. Um, and uh, I can't wait to hear um, if you have read your owner's manual and you found out something cool. Or if you've done it, you know, you had your car for an X amount of time and you read your owner's manual and you found out something. Just leave me a comment down below. Um, or like I said, come back to this later on when you actually read it. But uh, yeah, it's um, I'm I'm a I'm manual guy. Whenever I get a uh, uh, build things, they come with instructions. I'm the guy that reads it cover to cover, um, just to uh, just so I don't miss anything. But yeah, 2023, man, it is um, it is going to be a good year. Every year is a good year. Um, you gotta you gotta look at it. my my buddy Lee Mac nine twelve says every day you wake up you gotta tell yourself it's going to be a good day. The uh, subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between uh, a truth and a lie, so you might as well tell it what you want it to hear, and uh, that it's going to be a great, great day. Hopefully, I got that right, Lee Mac. Um, and uh, it's going to be a good year. It's going to be a great year. I can. Uh, I think I'm weeks or a month away being from fully being rehabbed, or at least getting back to my job, the job that I love the most, and that is being a technician. Um, I'm old school. I'm still a mechanic. I like being called a mechanic. Um, but new kids, they like being called a technician. So, all right, everybody, this has been another Tabac and Tech Tip Sunday, Drew Estate Cigars, powered by Monster Energy Rehab. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns about your vehicle or you need any maintenance, head over to your local Tires Plus or Firestone Complete Auto Care today.